Right, um, our problem was about uh, telling engaging online stories about real events and um, perhaps being able to make these events more sustainable in the future. Um, we started off, uh, luckily we've already got existing blogs um, and, and Twitter pages for example that we, we think we could probably tap into, we just don't necessarily use them very well. So I think uh, John advised that we could have those on the cheap. <laughs> um, we figured that really a big thing is the culture change again um, and the idea of uh, telling our own story uh, and not relying on press releases etc. Um, especially with the universities, they're quite often big wheels to turn so uh, it can take quite a lot of effort to get that culture change in the first place. So uh, we spent one point on um, perhaps doing something like this and getting digital mentors involved. Um, for those that we'd like to get involved, we don't necessarily know um, how to do so. Uh, from there on, um, we looked at uh, the idea of involving other organisations outside of our own and asking other people to join in, collaborating with them and joining in on their networks um, so that it's not just us that are trying to tell people how great our event is, we can actually get others to do that for us um, and hopefully grow our own networks. Uh, and then when it comes to the uh, event itself, um, to use more kind of video and audio again, not to just rely on going back and looking at sort of hefty you know, pages of text uh, and the odd image here and there. Um, uh, which we thought we might use Facebook because neither of us particularly using that as yet. Um, and then uh, last we decided to spend this, this point on setting our content free so that we can um, use Creative Commons, uh, Commons etc. so that no one has to particularly worry about the copyright elements and they can just freely use anything that we put up on our blogs. Cool. Anything? Okay. Final question. Anything you can pull over? We, it was funny, we actually like had to struggle to put things on it because we come from institutions that try and do everything without spending anything. Like we have no budgets and nothing, so we struggled to put things on <laughs> rather than take stuff off. <laughs> so you mean you, you, you were thinking we won't have the time to do this anyway? So no, but more, more finance, more like. Right. We looked like, I mean, one big thing was getting better Wi Fi in our facilities. And I mean, I know that realistically that's not a possibility, so I couldn't put it on because it will never happen. <laughs> it's interesting though, that, I mean, the thing about the cost of Wi Fi is if, you, if there are marketing budgets and you're spending lots of money on print or advertising, mm -hmm. what is the marketing benefit of people in your, in your building just saying what they think about it and chucking things on the internet? Mm -hmm. How much more powerful might that be than 30 hoardings? Um, so, that, that, you know, it's maybe about thinking. I don't know whether you actually I have that power, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. <laughs>